Meantime, Education Minister Honorable Dr. Gil Rigabert and Chief Education Officer Dr. Fiona Meyer visited schools in District 2 to see firsthand how students and staff are adjusting to the new normal. Here's Anissa Antoine. The Ministries of Health and Education have been working tirelessly to ensure the health and safety of students and teachers as schools around the island partially reopen for Grade 6 and Form 5 students. The Minister for Education, Innovation, Gender Relations and Sustainable Development, Honorable Dr. Gail Rigobert, visited schools in District 2 to assess the current conditions at the schools. Honorable Dr. Gail Rigobert spoke on the health protocols implemented. I am very excited, very pleased with the effort, enthusiasm, and compliance. I have visited the newly merged, what used to be Grosley Infant and Primary School, and as soon as you enter the compound, at the gate, there were posters advising of the protocols. As soon as you approach the classroom, uh, there was a bucket with, with a tap attached, very innovative. The sanitizer, hand washing liquid, and napkins to wipe with the bucket to dispose of the napkin as well. I was very satisfied with the extent to which they adhered to social distancing. So the classes have been split to allow for that. The minister noted that students have admirably adapted to the new measures being put in place to ensure a safe environment for face-to-face -face learning. As I asked the grade six students in particular, do you understand why you are required to ask, why you are required to wear a mask? And each student in turn who was asked or who responded understood what was happening in the global community and they understood the pandemic, they understood the need to protect themselves and others. It was just so very engaging and, and heartwarming to experience firsthand the extent to which our students are tuned in. They are aware of what is happening and they appreciate the measures that we are taking. Chief Education Officer Dr. Fiona Meyer commended the staff on their efforts in ensuring the instructional plan by the Department of Education was successfully implemented. But it's really about the environment that our principals have been able to create alongside their teachers to really make this a, a very welcoming environment for the students. Well, we continue to say to our parents that we are available to them we would like them to continue to work very closely with their schools as we note that not all schools are the same. And so the school's individual instructional plan plays the most significant role in terms of how to communicate with the parents. Work with us. You are very important partners as well as other stakeholders. And it is with our children's best interest that we look forward to ensuring that this academic year finishes off successfully for all of them. The Ministries of Education and Health urges parents to remain alert and advises that children with signs and symptoms of respiratory illness be kept home or seek medical care at the nearest community respiratory clinic. From the Government Information Service, I am Anisia Antoine reporting.